So sometimes when you're working with textures, you need to have a texture that is partially transparent, right? So you've got usually image files are kind of square, but sometimes the shape of the object doesn't necessarily line up with that. So you have to use a certain map in order to make part of it transparent so it looks the way that it's supposed to. In this video, we're going to talk about how to set up material transparency inside of Blender. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, and so this can be really important when you're doing something like setting up trees or leaves inside of Blender. So let's say, for example, that I take this tree that I created using a sapling tree generator add-on, which I will link to more info about in the notes down below. But let's say I wanted to add a material to leaves inside of the tree. So if we were to select the leaves, jump over here and click the plus button to add a material slot. And I've already taken a material that I downloaded. I don't even remember where I got it. You can get them from like, uh, um, you, you, you can get them in a number of different places, but notice how when I apply this texture, the leaf isn't really lining up with the leaves in Blender itself, right? So I'm getting this like really weird result where I've got some like texture in here, but I've also got green around the outside of it. It's just not really doing what I need it to do. And so the reason for this, I'm gonna to jump over into my shader editor is because I'm currently using an image file that looks something like this. And so when we set it up, initially it looks like this and it's got this green material around the outside. Now the reason for that is because the material showing where this should be transparent isn't contained inside of this particular map. Instead, when you download this, what it does is it comes with another map that looks like this called an opacity map. An opacity map is going to set where um, light goes through an image. So it's basically saying, okay, anywhere where this is black, don't show anything. Anywhere where this is white, show the texture material. And so this kind of like stacks on top of the other texture maps that you have in here. So for example, you'll still have like your normal maps and um, this one's a displacement map. You'll still have all of those, but this one just stacks on top of that. And so if we jump into our shader editor right here, notice how I've set the initial texture up using Node Wrangler. So what I did is I just selected my principal BSDF, I had Node Wrangler enabled, and I did a Control Shift T. If you want more information about quickly setting those up, I will link to that video in the notes down below. But what it didn't do is, and so that basically set up this material, right? It took the material color and put it into the color slot. It took the roughness and applied it to the roughness. What it didn't do though, is it didn't take the opacity and actually plug that in anywhere because it doesn't know what to do with an opacity map. So the first thing we want to do is we want to take our opacity map right here and we just want to drag it into our shader editor like this. So when we drag it in there, now it's brought in um, as a texture that we can use um, inside of our principal BSDF. The second thing we wanna do is because this is black and white, we're just gonna take our color and we're gonna drag it into the alpha slot right here. So I'm gonna take color, drag it into alpha. Now, generally speaking, you don't wanna drag a color into the slot right here, but it gives you some kind of weird results if you drag the alpha into the alpha for some reason, like it doesn't really do what it's supposed to do. So usually I drag the color into the alpha right here. But notice how all that does is that just gives me a black background on my image right here. So it doesn't really do what I need. That's because we actually need to go into the material settings on the right hand side and we need to set it up so that it knows what to do with that alpha. And so the way that we're gonna do that is notice down in our settings, down below. So if you scroll past all of your uh, principled BSDF stuff and go into your settings, there's an option here for blend mode. And so right now the blend mode is set to opaque. What that means is that's going to render the surface without any kind of transparency at all. However, there's an option down here below for alpha clip. And so you can set the alpha clip to basically say, okay, anywhere where this alpha has a value, we want this to clip this out meaning we want it to have visibility through there. So if I click on the alpha clip like this, now if I look at my leaf right here, you can see that my leaf is only showing in areas where that alpha map doesn't actually show up um, inside of the opacity map right here, or the, the black material doesn't show up. So what it's doing is it's basically took that map and it masked out anything that was black and left the things that were white, which is kind of cool because it also masks out the inside of this leaf so you can actually see through the leaf right here. But then if we were to jump back into our layout mode like this, notice how now our leaves are showing up in here with that actual texture applied. And one other thing that we might do is we might jump into our UV editing real quick 
and actually like set this up. So if we select one of our leaves, so for example, like this one, we could actually set this so that it matches up with the leaf a little bit more. So I could kind of move this down. And all this is going to do is this is just going to give us a little bit more realism for the way that the actual um, the, the way that the actual texture is applied in here. It does not have to be perfect at all. But notice how when I drag this in here like this, and then I tab back into edit mode, these are going to fit along this surface a little bit better. So you can actually use the UV editing tool in order to make these fit a little bit better. Notice how if I tab into edit mode again and I actually adjust this, notice how my leaves are adjusting in here as well. So however I place this on here is going to affect the way that these look in 3D. So leave a comment below if you have any questions. I will link to a video about the sapling tree generator add-on as well as another video talking about um, the best free add-ons contained inside of Blender. But if you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.